Hey, what is going on everyone? I'm Wicked and I want to wish you a huge and warm welcome to the brand new block from Hero to Wizard tutorial series. If you're new to this channel, you need to know that this series will be a follow-up of my popular block from Zero to Hero complete course I finished a couple of weeks ago, inside of which we learned the concepts of block library, understood the architecture of a well-designed app and practiced our new learned skills on a basic counter app. Since Block From Hero to Wizard will be a sequel of the previous series, I highly recommend you, if you haven't already, to watch it in depth as it will be really difficult to follow along and complete these upcoming tutorials if you are not really strongly familiarized with everything I discussed in the previous one. On the other hand, if you trust your existing Flutter block skills, then welcome to this amazing new tutorial series in which we'll put everything we learned so far to real world use. Inside of this new series, I'll be building multiple Flutter applications based on multiple levels of difficulties. All of them will benefit entirely from the block library and architecture and since I don't want this to be just a boring tutorial series in which I'll just show you how to code multiple applications, I decided to get it to a whole new level. In this series, you'll see how I start designing an app from the most basic level, the idea inside my mind, and then I'll move on to the pen and paper sketch, thinking of the main features and how you could implement them by using the main concepts and architecture of block library, moving on to the possible workflow of the app and of course finally reaching the step in which I'll put all my thoughts to practice by both coding the front end and the back end of the app. You heard it right. In this tutorial series we'll build not only fully functional apps but also really, really beautiful ones, both in terms of user interface and user experience. You obviously know nobody likes an app with an ugly UI even though it works perfectly on the backend side. Since we're going to develop multiple apps, you might remember from my fourth tutorial on block architecture that the only way to build solid and successful apps is to work on a really strong and stable architecture. Having that in mind, and as a request of many of my viewers, I have created a starting project, representing a starting point from which we'll develop every single app in this series. This project comes in handy since we won't have to manually create all the folders, refactor the already generated code, the routing methods, the dependencies, etc. every time we want to develop a new app. Everything is already baked in. The project structure is not perfect right now and of course it will be updated as time goes, but it is an amazing starting point for every project. So make sure you go and download it from my github page, links in the description. Since we're going to build apps literally from scratch, every application building process will be split inside multiple parts in order for you to deeply understand what you'll learn, how to design the app, what packages you'll use, how you'll code the app and what you'll achieve at the end of each tutorial. By the way, I'm always listening to my audience so I would like to ask you what kind of apps you want me to build in this incoming tutorial series so that I'll make a list and perhaps merge it with what I already have in mind. Let me know your ideas in the comments down below. I'll be more than excited to hear them. Having that said, I can't wait to see you into the first tutorial of this new block from Hero to Wizard series. Until then, as always, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Wicked is out. Bye-bye.